This is Twit. The Cat S61. Was this announced at Mobile World Congress? Or what's the deal? I think with it was this? Or at, at MWC or immediately before. Okay. And. Yeah, no one could blame you for being uh, a little confused because it's a very it's a it's a somewhat minor upgrade over its predecessor, the S60, which was the one that sort of got a little more buzz last year because it was the first phone with an integrated thermal camera. Yeah, you remember that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and for all of us needing a thermal camera on our phone. It, oh, indeed. Yeah, <laughs> and and I think I had like meant to get around to the S60 last year and it didn't. It was just, you know it's too busy and whatever. This is a very niche thing and it's also one of these situations where it's like. Caterpillar, the tractor company, does not make smartphones, right? They <laughs> they have a, a company called Bullet make it make them for them and kind of put their name on it. And that's always, uh, for me, that's always a cause for, uh, you know, a little bit of, it's like a 20% reduction in interest right off the top. Right. But it turns out that Bullet, I, so I stopped by anyway because I heard this phone has a laser on it, the S61. <laughs> There's freaking laser beams? There's freaking laser beams. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's all you need, really. And... Um, I swung by, and it turns out that Bullet has been making these phones for Cat for eight years. And I was like, wow, I didn't realize there was that much of a legacy behind these things. And they go on to start talking about how rugged they are and how they double certify them for IP and mil spec and all this stuff. I'm like, that's cool. They've always been rugged and durable. But you, you kind of run in like a media tech thing, right? They're like, no, we're, it's the Snapdragon 6, 6 something. I'm like, oh, that's cool. And it's just got the thermal camera. Well, no, it's got a better thermal camera. Oh, okay. And what's this on the back? Well, this is a, that's a laser. <laughs> <laughs> and, well, okay, why? And um, it's a, it's it's a measuring. It's like a measuring tape, right? It's like oh, okay. when we had the Project Tango phones, and you'd point it at stuff, and you'd be like, "Okay, the window is six point two meters from your side of your bed, so you can put this piece of furniture here." But this is even simpler. It just shines a dot, and the camera, the optics see the dot, and it performs some kind of crazy algorithmic thing based on the size of the dot, and it gives you a, a really precise measurement. So I'm like, okay, that's pretty cool. What are these holes on the casing? Oh, that's where the air quality sensor is. What? Every 30 seconds, it pulls the air and determines if there's volatile organic compounds, like oh. if you're, you know, varnishing a floor. And it gives you an alert if you are not breathing in any, you know, safe quantities of that stuff. Wow. So it's just like tour de force of contractor slash electrician slash, you know, like rough and tumble, you know, get your hands dirty jobs, um, skills packed into this phone that's actually not as crappy as I thought it was going to be. And then I even hit them with the old, but it's never going to get updated, right? And they're like, yeah, we're guaranteeing Android P. I'm like, wow, you guys are like building an okay phone. Good for you. So then I played with it for two hours and I had a lot of fun. Now I want to review it. And uh, were you just rubbing um, glue over those sensors to make? <laughs> they had. It was this like highlighter they had that didn't. <laughs> it, it just apparently a really nasty fumey marker. Your 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 phone was huffing apparently. Yeah, yeah. indeed. That's that's, yeah. that's dangerous. Um, interesting. So I mean, obviously, this is a phone that's very for a very specific. You know, yes. it's it's for industry. Let's say it's it's for people who work in, in very particular industries. So it's not for everyone. Like, w why would we need a, a laser pointer? But it's nice to know that from from what I can tell, anyways, and from what you're saying, a quality Android phone is being built around these things. I feel like so many times, like we've seen these things, they do interesting things, but as a phone as as just like a straight up Android phone, it's lacking in many other ways. Sure, it's specialized in one way or another, but when you get down to the core, it's just not a very good phone. It seems like this might actually be a different story. Exactly. That was the 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 kind of the crux of the pleasant surprise at the heart of this thing that had me start to take it seriously very early in my hands on. And, you know, I they announced a price point. It's nine ninety nine. I mean it's the same as you it's almost the same as you paid for a Note eight or a, or an iPhone ten, but like I mean, it, it, it's so impossible to to destroy by any means, you know, I can I can readily think of. And it, they seem to have thought of everything that could possibly be a hang up or, or an irritation to the target customer. I'm, I, I, I just I was so impressed when I didn't necessarily expect to be from a company that's essentially doing, you know, doing this this branded work. By the way, these are the same guys that do the um, Land Rover phone and the uh, the Kodak phone. Neither of which I have any experience with, but, you know, they seem to have a specialized skill for these little niche, niche lines of devices. Nice.
So, yeah. all right. Um, yeah, you know, of all the brands that I've have any sort of actual hands-on experience with, I will say I can safely say that Caterpillar is not a brand that I've ever spent <laughs> any time with. Um, I and I have one by IO. I'll, I'll, we can, that? I'll bring it out. <laughs> what, what did you I was going to ask, did you spend time, time in a, in inside a of a... Of, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry, Flo. I was just making a silly comment about right. if you've ever been in a tractor before. I have, but I never modified it so that I think I stayed out of trouble. Okay. Because was it a John Deere? Is that why? Yeah. Ooh. Actually, I used to own a John Deere uh, riding lawnmower. <laughs> Oh my so. gosh. <laughs> Are we really going here? All right. Do we need to dive into my past? Okay, it was a John Deere, okay? <laughs> Sometimes I forget that you're that you're you're a little bit of a bumpkin. <laughs> I love you. I love you, but you're a little bit of a bumpkin. Yeah. I I've, yeah, I've got I've got bumpkin in me. <laughs> <laughs>